Hey crafty friends, thank you so much for joining me today. This is a slightly different video in that I'm just sitting here. I've got a cup of tea, so that's actually coffee. I don't know why I said tea. Um, this is going great so far. <laughs> this is a slightly different video today in that I am gonna be answering 15 Christmas questions and I was tagged to do this video by the lovely Claire. I will have a link to her channel below, Claire's Crafty Corner, and she actually inspired me to make these guys. These adorable little Christmas gnomes, which gnomes are, to quote Zoolander, so hot right now, and she had a great tutorial of how to make these using air dry clay and little polystyrene like Christmas trees. Anyway, I'll have a link to her channel and to that video specifically in the link bar below. But today we're going to be answering 15 Christmas questions and I'll be tagging someone so they can create their version of this video. And the person I'm going to be tagging is Leslie from Hungry Heffy, not Hungry Heffy, Heffy Doodle Crafts. She is Hungry Heffy online. Her business is Heffy Doodle. She has some incredible photopolymer stamps and also um, stencils and kind of all crafty paraphernalia. So I'll have a link to her channel. If you haven't heard of her yet, you're in for a treat. You can go and check out some of her videos and also check out her store. Okay, intro over. Let's take a sip. So I've got the questions written down in my fancy notepad um, just so I didn't miss any of them and I'll run through them. So question one, what is your favorite Christmas scent? I love candles. I actually have a Yankee advent calendar this year um, so it has like little tea lights in each day and um, I love the really sweet smelling ones so like Christmas cookie love is it even called christmas cookie i think it is i love that one it smells so nice um i really like the like spiced ones as well more of like winter spice um and like cinnamon darren is really boring he likes like clean cotton fresh linen as a general rule if a candle is white he probably likes it favorite christmas song <laughs> Probably Fairy Tale of New York by the Pogues. Um, I think even though some of the language has been called into question. Um, oh, no, no, I take it back. Um, Alien for Christmas by Fountains of Wayne. That is a highly underrated Christmas song. If you've never heard of it, I'm probably gonna link that below as well. Go and check it out. It is, yeah, that's my favorite Christmas song. <laughs> okay, so do you host any parties? No, not really. I have hosted um, New Year's Eve parties before and um, I like to host. I like to have people around but um, my mom is really big on Christmas and um, you know we go to Darren's family as well and my nan hosts the ultimate Christmas morning at her house. Like all of the extended family. I, I don't know how we fit in the house but we squeeze and somehow we manage and i kind of lost my train of thought this is why i don't do these videos because i'll just ramble next question what type of tree do i use do i use a fake or real so this tree here which i'm not going to hit too hard because if you follow me on instagram i hit it and dropped the baubles and one of my friends kate thinks that is like the most hilarious thing she asked me to send her the clip and she watches it on repeat to cheer herself up um, so this one here is fake. I do have a video of how I put this tree up and how I decorated it. So you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to link that as well. And I do have a real tree. We used to use a real tree as our main tree. Um, but then when we moved into this house and we got the dog, we decided to switch to, a, um, to an artificial tree. And let me show you my real tree, it's adorable. This is my real tree. Look how tiny it is. It is so cute. And it is um, like still planted. It's like a potted tree. So, you know, after the Christmas season, I can take all the decorations off and I can stick it in a plant pot and hopefully keep it alive. Um, my nan saw this the other day and she said it kind of looks like rosemary. And I thought that would be a really cool idea to actually have like a sprig of rosemary and decorate it as a Christmas tree and it would add a really nice smell. Um, but yeah. Okay, so the next question is, what is your favorite Christmas food? 
It is not Christmas in my family and my extended family, pretty much all of us, until we have had my nan's sausage meat stuffing. It is like chef kiss. It is so good and we all request it. She's given us all the recipe, but you know what it's like, it never tastes exactly the same. So um, yeah, that is Christmas. It only comes out at Christmas or for maybe like very specific special occasions. Um, but it's not Christmas until you've had some. And I am currently trying a vegan diet. I did it for like 30 days. I had a whole story on my Instagram and it made me feel really good. I was doing like vegan and sugar-free and it, I really felt better. I lost some weight, which was nice. And um, so I'm trying to get back on it until the new year, but I think Christmas day might break me. I might have to have some of that sausage meat stuffing and probably one of her mince pies as well, which there isn't actual mince in them, but there's egg in the pastry. Anyway, when do you open gifts? This was something like I'm talking before I knew how to tell the time. I knew when the little hand pointed at the seven and the big hand pointed at the 12, I was allowed to get out of bed Christmas morning, not a second earlier. So we've always had that rule from when I was a kid, we get our Christmas stockings, we like hang them on the fireplace. And then in the mornings you wake up and you like wriggle your toes and you're like, has he been? Is it here yet? And then, I mean, I, I would wake up like five times in the night and then you feel and you're like, oh my God, it's there. And you can feel that that like stocking's been filled and lay at the end of your bed. So. That was always there to kind of tide us over until 7 a.m. depending on what time we woke up and opened that. And then 7 a.m. we would all rush downstairs and do a big opening. And um, yeah, that's it. I actually, that is not it, hold on. I read something the other day that said, um, depending on when you open your Christmas present shows how like lower or middle or upper class you are and the later in the day that you leave it, the more like upper class you are. I'm not buying that, it's Christmas. You're supposed to be excited. So question seven, do you have a theme when you decorate? Kind of. Is more is more a theme? I kind of go for like a whimsical, maybe like Grinch inspired, like Whoville, chaos. Um, but yeah, lots of lots of red, white and green, um, kind of sweet based, candy. Yeah. Okay, so number eight, Christmas tradition. I feel like I've covered a few of these. Christmas Eve, you go take a bath or a shower or whatever it is. And while you're in the shower, the pajama fairy visits. Now, I've spoke to a few people and I know that not everybody has the pajama fairy visit them, um, but those that do, that's pretty cool. Some people get like a Christmas Eve box, super cool as well. Um, but the pajama fairy visits while you are in the shower or the bath, there is a fresh pair of pajamas magically delivered to the end of your bed and we all put them on, um, except for that one year that the onesie troll arrived and left us really uncomfortable onesies, but we don't talk about that. Um, so the pajama fairy comes, we all go downstairs, the people who are dialing in call into the house, we all sit down with a cup of hot chocolate and mini marshmallows and my mom reads to us, Twas the Night Before Christmas. Question number nine, when do you start shopping? I, it varies, <laughs> it varies. This year, super, super late. I was so stressed. I started shopping uh, last Monday, Monday of this week. Monday of this week, I started shopping, which is ridiculous. Favorite Christmas movie? can't pick one. There's a few that I'll watch every single year. Um, the Grinch, the one from a couple years ago, although I did watch the most recent one just the other day and that one's super cool as well. Um, but I love the, it's not the original, the first remake, The Grinch. Um, I love Elf, absolute classic, like, bye buddy, hope you find your dad. <clears throat> Probably gonna cut that out. Um, 
I also love Arthur Christmas. I watch that while I wrap my Christmas presents. I don't know why I've dedicated that film to that purpose, but there we go. Arthur Christmas. Um, and Die Hard. It's a Christmas film. I don't care what anyone says. Okay, so number 11 I've been told is a question for parents or a question not for kids. And I don't really know why, but the question is, do your kids believe in Santa? I obviously don't have kids, um, but my answer to that is, why wouldn't they? Like, I believe in Santa. Like, you'd be you'd be crazy not you'd be, you would be crazy not to. So I'm gonna say yes. My imaginary children that I don't have believe in Santa. Dexter believes in Santa. There we go. My dog Dexter. He uh, gets snuggled up in bed. He comes and listens to um, "Twas the Night Before Christmas," Christmas Eve, and then he snuggles up in bed. And Santa Paws comes and visits him. Number twelve. What is your tree topper? So you can't see it. It's just out of shot here. Um, but I'll maybe insert a picture. It is a giant elf hat. Um, previous years I have used a star. I was always kind of a star at the top of a Christmas tree kind of a person but then when this like elfy chaos happened it became an elf hat. Question 13. What is your main Christmas dish? We have turkey. I don't really know why because none of us really like it. Obviously I won't be having it this year. Vegan blah blah blah. Um, but turkey always features. Always have my nan's stuffing. Um, we usually have some kind of like a ham, like a honey roast ham, um, pigs in blankets as well. I found a vegan option, so I'll stop saying the word vegan. Okay, question 14. Do you prefer uh, single colour, like white lights or multicolour lights? This is a pre-lit Christmas tree and it has like a warm white light. I also have a garland that's got warm white lights and another garland on like my banister. They've all got the same like warm white lights, but my mum's tree has multicolored lights. I actually really, really like them. And I think it would go with this chaos tree. So if you're happy, I'm happy. That's, that's my answer. <laughs> okay, and final question. Do you decorate the whole house for Christmas or just an area or a section? I'm kind of half and half. I usually do more than what I've done this year. This year I've kind of focused on the living room and we've got a couple bits kind of out in the kitchen. Um, I do have a tree, like a little light up, like a bran branch um, tree in the bedroom that has mini baubles hanging on it. I'll be honest, they are up from last year. And this is the problem with decorating your whole house. You put these little Christmas touches all over the place and then it comes to taking them down and you are guaranteed to miss one. And somebody told me once that if you haven't taken your Christmas decoration down by the 6th of January, it has to stay up all year. And I don't know why, but I've chosen to live by that rule. Um, so I forgot the baubles on the branch um, tree in the bedroom, so they're still up. Okay, so that is it for my 15 questions. I have tagged Leslie to do her version of this video. So do check out her channel and keep an eye out for her version of this video. I should have tagged three people, but I'm conscious that it's really late coming up to Christmas. It took me a little while to get this video filmed because I was in Ireland with Darren's family. So apologies. So I didn't want to tag too many people and put any stress on them last minute but I spoke to Leslie and she's happy to record her version so do keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much to Claire for tagging me. I only found her on YouTube this year and I've really been loving her content. She does a lot with resin which is something I'm really interested in getting into and maybe I'll be able to do like one of my DI try videos using some resin. Um, so yes, thank you so much for tagging me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're new here, then I would love to have you stick around and you can click the subscribe button and tap the bell if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video. I generally focus on craft related videos. Sometimes I branch out into some random different places under the heading of DI Try, where I try a DIY for the very first time and we share the results, good or bad. So I just want to take a minute to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I hope you have had a wonderful 2019 and I wish you all all the very best for 2020 and I hope to see you back here again soon for another video.
that is all for me today. Bye for now.